Let's take a closer look at our components. This is the rotary encoder as it arrives with no wires attached. It has three pins on one end, the middle pin goes to ground, and the other two provide a digital signal to the Arduino, telling the Arduino where the rotation is located. On the other side, we have two pins that function as an on-off switch when you push on the center of the channel. This is the same rotary coder with a knob attached to the top to make it convenient and jumper wires soldered onto the pins to allow it to be more easily connected to an Arduino. This is the SparkFun breadboard. This is the brains of our project. It's a flat board with a USB connection on one side that lets the computer upload programs. And these black sections here are called headers, and they allow jumper cables to plug in. And that's how information gets in, as in from the rotary encoder, into the controller and out to our LEDs. These are the LEDs we're going to use for this project. It's a flexible strip with a waterproof coating. And each of these white squares is an LED that can be any brightness or any color. On the end are three wires that connect it to our breadboard. One is for positive, one is for negative, and one wire is the digital information that instructs each LED on what color it needs to be and how bright it needs to be. These are jumper wires that plug right into the headers on the breadboard. 